Well, let me just tell you on a personal note, Mylon and Christy LeFevre are an incredible couple for Christ. Their hearts are just boundless, love for, not only love for God, but love for people. And uh, they've already lived an amazing life. Did you hear that? When Mylon was 17 years old, he wrote that famous song without him and Elvis Presley recorded it. And within a year, over a hundred different uh, artists had recorded songs that he had written. He's won Dove Awards, Grammy Awards. He's in the Gospel Music Association Hall of Fame. Now he and Christy travel the world, preaching, teaching, singing the gospel, such unusual venues as uh, chaplain services for the NBA, for NASCAR, etc. Please join Joni and me as we welcome back to celebration, Mylon and Christy LeFevre. Hello there. Hey, you doing? Hello, Miss Christy. All right, and so, and you've traveled over a million miles. That's a lot of miles. Well, I'm almost 66, so that's... Man, you sure don't look like it or act like it. Well, I don't, sure. I don't think like it either. Yeah. Good. And okay. He has, and he hasn't made us a good steak in a while. Oh, he makes great he does. steaks. He, he can does. go into business just I'm ready when you are. Cooking <laughs> steaks. <laughs> you know, we eat me. every day. <laughs> All right, listen, so tell me, what is the latest of what you and Christy are doing? Well, we've been working on a book, which is pretty exciting. You know, I had a dream one night and the Lord reminded me of the scripture, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. He reminded me that you can see it. If you look at the pictures of somebody who has uh, lived a while without the Lord and then given their whole life to Jesus, you can see the goodness of God in the land of the living. So we just put together a little picture book, probably take you an hour or less to read it and uh, just find out how good God is, what He wants to do for you. Mylon, you are a miracle, not only to be serving the Lord, but a miracle to be alive, aren't you? Yes, I am, sir. Who is praying for you? Lots My mama was a praying woman, thank God, and God answered her prayers. She's in heaven now, as you know, and, uh, but, and she's got her reward. I'm so thankful. The last year, you know, Mama went to heaven, she was almost 92. Incredible. But she drove her own car till she was 91. She did what she wanted to. She was a little Remarkable. country girl from South Carolina who got her own TV show what? and went all over from the world. From South Carolina? I got that's me a South I'm Carolina about. girl. Yeah. That's good. Joni, I mean, you're going to live to 90-something. I like that. I'm I get to keep you around going to live that long, too. He probably that's right. right. You can just tell that. He comes, his genes, believe me, he are You know, are my granddaddy lived to be 103. Man, my H.L. Whittington. Gracious. That's right. Wow, wow, wow. Harry Whittington, yeah. I'm going to be here till Jesus comes. Okay, so Christy, is this a big job, writing a book? Yes, but you know, when God calls you to do something, He gives you the anointing, the grace, the ability, the enablement to do it. So it's been a labor of love for us. And we're so excited because, you know, as you know, the Word says Satan is defeated by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our yes. testimony. Revelation 12, 11. Yes, so we believe that as people hear the goodness of God that He has proven to Mylon in His life, that they will be set free. They'll hear Amen. the truth that will make them free. So Christy, you are doing ladies' meetings in conjunction with Mylon's meetings. Yes. What do you What do you do in those ladies' Marriage meetings? Marriage seminars and, well, you know, I my heart is to encourage women to rise up and walk in the fullness of their calling. Amen. That they, write, they walk in the fullness as daughters of God, as wives, as mothers, as career women, as women in ministry, and that they really walk in everything that God has destined and purposed for them to do and to be in Mala, these last days. Mala, I want you to look into the camera and take several minutes and just minister on whatever in the world the Lord has laid on your heart. Would you just Amen. talk to those people Thank just you, like sir. you were talking to them in their church? Amen. Well, let me just say this. I think that sometimes uh, God gets the blame for stuff that He doesn't do. Sin oh, is the yes. problem. God is not the problem. God is good. The Bible says the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. And what that means is He's in love with you. And everything He's done, even sending His Son Jesus to live and die for us and to raise Him again and to redeem us from our, our past, to shed the blood that cleanses us from all unrighteousness, everything God has done for us 
it is because he loves us. And he's good and he wants to prove it. King David was one of my heroes. And in fact, he's the man that God said was after his own heart. Yes. And King David said, I don't know what would have become of me. He said, I would have despaired had I not believed that I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. And I believe that these days, my uh, assignment from the Holy Spirit is to encourage you. What, what do you expect to see this year in the land of the living? If you let um, CNN or Wall Street or, or politicians affect your thinking, then this might not be a good year for you. But if you believe God, He said, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. And these are good plans. They'll prosper you. And, and they're not plans to harm you, but to give you hope and a bright future. And, and by the way, his plan hadn't changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He knew the economy was going to be what it is this year. And his plan is still a good plan for you because he loves you. And the truth can change the facts. If you believe God, the key to what David said was, I believed that I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. So I just want to encourage you. God is good. Now, there is a place where he, Jesus said this. He said, there's a thief that comes to steal and kill and destroy. But he said, it's not me. I've come from heaven for this one reason, that you'd have life and a more abundant, a better quality of life so that you and your family, so that your loved ones, so that others can see as you serve the Lord. Now, and, and that doesn't mean just, you know, Go to church sometime and have a, a fish on your bumper and a cross on your head. I mean, uh, <laughs> really trust God. That's Because right. the goodness of God is the key to that. I believe the reason he's got me uh, ministering on this right now is that if you don't believe God is good, you're not going to trust him with that. You may give him your mm. problems and you may even give him your sins. But you're not going to live by faith in him if you think he does anything bad. The Bible says that all good things come from above. If something good's going on in your life, that's God. If something bad's going on in your life, the Bible says if you resist the devil, he will flee from you. And if you think God does bad things, you're not going to resist the devil. So knowing the truth will set you free. And the truth is God loves you. He wants to do magnificent things at your house this that's week. Right. He wants to heal your body, forgive you of your sins fill you with His Holy Spirit, empower you to live a life of victory, and so that others can taste and see, just see in your life how good the Lord is Praise and that His Lord. mercy endures forever. Well, I'm holding in my hand the teaching on this very subject, enjoying the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And that's what David talked about in Psalms 27, 13, and 14. He said, I had fainted unless I'd believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. There's the website. If you want to find out where Christy and Mylon are going to be ministering, or if you like to schedule them for ministry or to get uh, their music, or the, the new book that's going to be coming out very soon, or this teaching series or others, the information is there on the screen. God is a good God. And uh, somebody said it like this, that it's still the Father's good pleasure to give good gifts to His children. <laughs>